Also happening here locally today, some Prairie Village leaders believe the city's non-discrimination ordinance is outdated. They say that it needs overhauled. Today, a new ordinance aimed at protecting all residents from discrimination based on who they are or who they love will go before the council. Stephanie Kayser joining us live to explain on this Monday morning. Steph. Good morning. Well, cities like Roland Park and Manhattan, Kansas already have ordinances like this in place. In fact, Roland Park passed along a letter in support for the passing of this new ordinance in Prairie Village. Now, Mike Kelly with the city of Roland Park says in the past four years since their ordinance passed, businesses have not fled but have reinvested and expanded in Roland Park. Home values have risen at a rate higher, if not higher, than any other community in Johnson County. And residents Residents have reported satisfaction overall in city services. Now, in Kansas, Prairie Village leaders say in both state and federal laws, there's a gap that leaves gay and transgender people without protection from discrimination. This ordinance would change that, protecting all residents from discrimination when it comes to employment, housing, and public accommodation. Now, coming up at 6.30, hear from a resident who lives in Prairie Village about how this ordinance would impact them. We're live in Prairie Village, Stephanie Kayser, KCTV 5 News. Okay, Steph, thank you. Pretty interesting right there. We'll be sure to stay on top of it.